As optimistic as ever, those flying the Akwabio Abbas card for the leadership of the incoming 10th National Assembly continue to exude confidence ahead of the contest, according to Senator Representative Bruno South Ali Undume. About 75 senator, senators elect are backing Senator Gotul Akwabio to become the next president of the Senate. Speaking with newsman Senator Ndume, who is the DG of Akpabio Barao campaign, insists that Akpabio may even turn out as a consensus candidate. Mm. If you are giving this figure, if you have um, <laughs> 75. 75 out so of, it means out of, 34, out of, 34 is left. Mm, out of one, 109. <laughs> oh, That's, it's done and dusted. 34 is left. According to Ali, Ali Dume. Dume. Ah, so you the DG campaign. <laughs> you need to add that. Uh, you, we don't know exactly what's going on. And uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to deceive myself that I don't know that there is fire on the mountain. What Apabio needs to do is to continue to mobilize. Because he's worked hard and he's been front runner for so long to um, allow everything to collapse at this stage. So he has to continue to engage. You know, he's been meeting governors, you know, so that those governors can prevail on their members and all that. He's been going and he's really worked hard on this matter. I can imagine how many hours of sleep Akwabio gets mm -hmm. at this time. So he has to just keep working hard. All this uh, listing of people's names, saying this one, this, these people are with me. Mm. In politics, it's, it can be an exercise in futility because they can change their minds the at election. the point when they want to vote. Yes. Look, on the day Baja lost that election in 2015, up to the morning, he was still the man to beat. It was when they got into that hall that we now started seeing, in fact, it was leading <coughs> for, for mm -hmm. so long, where they were counting. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the thing changed. Yeah. Uh, Good Aji Kazaure was even saying, look, that, that, that money, money that they brought them together and that they were still saying, okay, this still will go to Baja. But it changed suddenly. Mm -hmm. And little things like, oh, let this person be your deputy. Oh, give this person this. Matter. Can sway the pendulum of victory. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Because when you, when you now Australia. stand firm that, no, I can't give it to him. The supporters of that person can work against your ticket. And then back someone who will make, who will give them such concessions. Because it happened in 2015. At the end of the day, no one expected Baja to lose that election. But Togara defeated uh, Baja. And just with eight votes. So. Mm, so I remember. So even now, you can be a front runner and still not win. What will make you win is if you remain consistent. Keep your base and do your best to get more people outside of your own core supporters, your base. That is what I believe Akpabio needs to do. He has experience, he's a skillful politician, and at this stage, I know that he knows what is at stake. Mm -hmm. And some of what we are talking about, you know, after yesterday's uh, um, program, I, I said, Something that look. If they do during the program, so I said, if they do send it first, and then do that, whoever emerges, they can affect. One of the senators when we were talking last night, he said, "Did what you said is true?" The truth is, I don't know how that law has been amended. They've never had the election simultaneously. No, even in both houses. They will be watching. They want to see what transpired before um, before they do their own. So, whatever the result from the Senate can still influence what happens. Mm -hmm. Because if, for example, a Yari were to win in Senate, I'm not saying that he's going to win. If he were to win, do you think 
another person from the Northwest will be allowed to emerge. That's the point that I made, that I made. In politics, you have to look at all possibilities. You can say he cannot win. What if he wins? You know? But uh, Gochiere said no, that they cannot. Uh, uh, we will see whether they are going to do elections simultaneously because I've, I've, I've never no, seen where that. No, the, even in the Eighth Assembly, it was different. It that was what. Uh, was before the House of Representatives. Yes, he said that the law has okay. been amended, and, you know. But I was still a very senior senator who was telling me yesterday that the point that you raised is a very valid one. That they have to be on the lookout. So for him to say that, that means he too thinks that they are going to do one before another. Mm -hmm. After all, even their validatory sessions are not some yes, no. mm -hmm. so, Not some days, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it, they will want to see what transpired. The same issue can happen. If you say that if they do it, if they do it the same time, you know it's still possible for the not Northwest to produce the two of them. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> the, what would make sense is for them to even do it separate. Separate. So that, so that they can happens, balance. Uh -huh, you can then actually one. balance by saying, okay, let us see who emerges at the other end. Because what we are what we want to avoid will then happen. Mm -hmm. Both of them will be Muslim. So how do we deal with that situation? Mm -hmm. If it were to happen like that, both of them will be Muslim. Mm. Now looking at the configuration of this tenth assembly, as in say a lot of people will tell you that um, that we've never had it like this since nineteen ninety nine and it's just so close and different political parties and representation. We have Labour Party, we have Social Democratic Party, we have Youth Democratic Party, EYBP even represented. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, this is the first time we are having rainbow colors, you know, in, in the National Assembly, and in, and it's good, you know. In it, it's good for us, you know, so that um, those who feel that the house is usually their their hall in hall will know that even in the next election it will not be easy. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> even as we, as you look at it, um, Ayo. The, when we have parties, different parties, like you know that I know that the APC has um, more um, more House of Rep members. They also have in the Senate, but even in the House of Rep, they don't have majority because if by the time you combine all the opposition party, they have more. So that is why it's even more difficult for them, even in trying to. You know, push this old Abbas um, Kalu, um, Benjamin Kalu's um, idea, idea, you know, because even the opposition are saying that even they can even bring out somebody and push. You know, they were saying that before, but most of the opposition, um, the opposition now, they are even divided amongst themselves. But it's good for us, it's good for the policy, because even in the next four years, we might also be seeing something similar. Even the APC might not even have the majority like they're having. Because people now are more aware. People want to always, be, the, the, the introduction of beavers has really, you know, emboldened so many people to say, okay, let, I want to even go into this race too. Let me see if, if I can win. So even in the next four years, we'll be seeing more. It, should, it might not be only these four or five political parties that we are talking about. We might see okay. more. Okay. You know? Thank you for staying with us. This is Journalist Angad. And Jile, so as we are cruising home, we see that National Assembly election the 13th of June and then the two houses. So ultimately, if they are unexpected happen, what will be the implication for this administration? I think whoever wins um, in both chambers will still be an Ashwaju person. Honestly, I don't see anybody <coughs> turning against the government. They are all people that at one point or another have worked with him. They are his people. When you enter Yari's house in Talata, Sampara State, there is a life-size picture of Ashwaju in his living room. I remember when I went there to negotiate a deal for TVC. 
when he was pussyfooting, he was wasting my time, he didn't want to agree. I said, ah, see the life size picture of your party leader there, and you don't want to do this deal. Now switch to Absa. He looked at me. Where is, where is that document? <laughs> I had to play that trick on him because he was wasting my time. I had been there for like five days. Maria, who went with me, was even almost crying. Why is this one treating us like this? You know, at the end of the day, I told him, look at the man now. Let me not complete the sentence. <laughs> he got the message, he got the thing from me, and I signed. So he's a Tinumbu person. Gagdi is a Tinumbu person. All of them are people who cannot turn against him, even if they take power. I don't see a Betara, for example, turning against him. I don't see a Wase turning against him. They are all strong APC people committed to their party. But this is power. <laughs> and you know the nature of power. Even your own son can turn against you because of power. Mm -hmm. So they want, they have to negotiate. You know? And I'm happy. Um, the one, one newspaper just reported that the G5. Mm, yeah. Those, they are meeting with, meeting Ashwajo, with Ashwajo. currently. Mm. So hopefully we'll be able to iron it out. Uh, whatever it is, it's still APC that will take control of both chambers. Thanks to the law, the opposition won't produce the Senate president or the House of Rights members. It's still going to be what, what will happen if worst, uh, comes to worst is that it may not be the choice of the end of the mm -hmm. or prevail. Ashwajo has been very clear about who he wants for Senate, but I've not really seen him talk in that manner about the House of Reps. Mm -hmm. I think he's been more committed to the emergence of um, Ababio more than the other people. Maybe it's an emotional thing because Abu stepped forward to so he was stepping down. Maybe. It's for that reason. Who knows? But I don't still see um, any terrible thing happening. If because as we saw this during the eighth assembly and for you four why, years, you know why that was, one eighth assembly? You mm. know what pained the party so much mm. because Saraki did not just emerge against the choice of his party. He also gave the deputy position to, to the, PDP. Mm. PDP. They Very didn't much. forgive him for that. Ah, what is this? is our thing. Mm -hmm. We struggled, we won, and you now gave the deputy to negotiate with them. Negotiate with them so I can get many votes, knowing that many of his own party people will not vote for him. So he negotiated with them. The PDP people gave him block votes. Mm -hmm. He then picked their person as deputy to him, himself. Mm -hmm. if, uh, even the party's uh, choice then. Was not even around. He was absent. <laughs> and they were meeting somewhere. <laughs> He's meeting somewhere. But you know, even if they were around, they would still. They would defeat them. Budget. You know. They didn't have the number to strategize. Yeah, I, 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 I think um, the engagement has to just. It was four them. years. It was all about removing how to remove Saraki. Yes, four it years. Was of, all yeah, about how to exactly. remove Saraki. Well, it was yeah, too late because was... because they couldn't. Mm. You know. But I'm not sure that this is going to be like that. You know, we just want to see a house. That or a national assembly that will work with the that executive. will not be adversarial. Yes, you know, mm. because the country, we all know how the country is now. So we, we need to fix the country. Yeah, exactly. So and I South. think I think that is to that it. is what Ashwaju is after. It's people who will be able to work with me when Nigeria needs them, because that is what we need now. If the national assembly is in peace, the executive will work well with them. So, because we need that Kodia relationship, with, we, both of them need that Kodia relationship. And now that he is meeting with all of them, I know they will come to a, a very good conclusion and uh, consensus. It might not be one person. There might be some things that will happen which we might not know until um, that particular day. But we know that there will be a series of engagement from now until Monday evening. I know. Okay. I want to thank you, Asuko James. Thank you for your contribution. And the master himself, Papa Jide Kolade, to tell you and that are offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m.
Join us this Sunday for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. That's from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVCNews Nigeria. I'm Ayodele Ozubakum. Bye for now.